Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris. I'm out in the Caliente garage. Um, I wasn't going to make this video, but I decided to show you guys the uh, project that I'm working on for my 21 Escapade trailer. When I purchased the trailer, the cooler uh, that came with the trailer did not have a drain plug. Now it's the summertime and it's hot. When I put drinks and ice uh, inside of my cooler, I have no way of draining the water. I have to either take the cooler out of the rack assembly or I have to take a cup and uh, dip out all of the water, which is a big inconvenience. So I'm in the process of trying to put a drain plug on this cooler. I've actually done this before in a previous video. If you guys want to see the video of me installing a drain plug on the cooler, check out the video link at the top corner. The project that I'm working on is pretty much doing the same thing. It's putting a, a drain plug on the cooler. Now, certain coolers actually make uh, replacement drain plugs that you can pick them up on Amazon. You can get them uh, at Sports Authority or you can get them online. So I got to looking for a Rubbermaid uh, drain plug and I couldn't find one. So... I actually had uh, left over from my last installed uh, in my toolbox. I kind of had a, a cooler drain plug. And so I decided to see if I could make this actually work. On the last cooler, I put the drain plug on the side. And it works, it works pretty good. Um, but on the side of that igloo cooler, it was a spot specific for the drain plug. I couldn't find a drain plug for the Rubbermaid. So... I wanted to do it differently. I said, I'm gonna put the drain plug uh, in the floor. That way I can reach up under the bottom of the trailer and then uh, pop the cap out. So I drilled a hole inside of the bottom of the cooler. You guys can see that hole there. I wasn't sure if this was actually um, gonna fit because like I said, I had this left over uh, in my tube box. So, I took my step bit and I drilled I drilled a hole at the bottom of the the uh the cooler. And so basically it's gonna it's gonna snap on like this. Well I was hoping. Problem is that it's not tall enough to reach the threads. So this drain plug is not gonna work. Um, it's for an igloo cooler, but the cooler that came with my Escapade trailer is a Rubbermaid cooler, a 34 quart. So I went out to Sports Authority and I actually bought a, another drain plug kit. And it's actually a igloo uh, threaded cooler drain plug. I'm not even sure if this is going to fit. Um, I figured the worst case scenario is that if I can't find a specific drain plug for the Rubbermaid, um, then I'll just uh, discard the cooler. So in this video, I'm gonna see if I can make this hole a little bit bigger and install the Igloo threaded cooler drain plug. So hopefully this works. So I'm gonna open this up. And I know a lot of you out there, you have coolers on your trailer but it didn't have a drain plug and it's such an inconvenience to dip the water out when the ice melts. So with the drain plug, it's not gonna get all of the water out, but it'll get a lot of the water out. So I'm gonna be attempting to install this Igloo threaded cooler drain plug on this Rubbermaid trailer. If I can get it opened up. And this is, was a video I was not even gonna post but I figure it may help somebody out because I'm sure it's somebody out there probably in the same predicament that has a problem draining their cooler. So looking at the back of the package, you have a nut a washer, a rubber grommet.
on this previous drain plug it was a little bit short and this actually might be a little bit too long see this is going to go down to there so I'm going to have to make this hole just a little bit bigger So I'm gonna take my my digital caliper and I'm gonna measure to see exactly how big this hole is. It's showing 1.2, so it's probably an, an inch. It's probably a one inch. Gonna take my step bit. Gonna locate my one inch mark, which will probably put it around the middle of the bit. Okay, here we go. See if that's big enough. So a good installer must always be prepared to improvise. So I'm just gonna cut off one of these little corners with my Dremel tube. So now that I have that corner shaved off, I'm going to see if that will make it, and see if that will make it fit flush. So before I put the cap back on there, I'm going to come around to the other side. Push this rubber grommet As a matter of fact I'm gonna push the rubber grommet in first that's what's gonna prevent water from getting inside of the insulation I'm gonna take my drain plug my threaded drain plug just gonna push it through Make it a little bit bigger. I 
always say that a good installer must always be prepared to improvise. Take my drain plug. I actually uh, found a spacer. Well, this is actually a uh, a uh, seal for a wheel hub. I'm just going to use this to put a little space between the cooler and the bottom portion of the drain plug. Let's see if this. Now I can just tighten this nut down against the washer. So now all I have to do is reach up under the cooler and let the water out from the bottom. A good installer must always be prepared to improvise. But check out that video link at the top of the video where I installed a side drain for the igloo cooler. All you have to do is find the drain specific for the cooler in my case, in my application, I just um, made it work. So it looks like this is going to be fine. I could always go back and add a little bit of silicone if I'm concerned about any leaks or anything, but I think I'm good. Uh, that's pretty tight. So I've added some water just to verify that I don't have any leaks inside of the cooler. But this cooler is gonna always sit flat on the trailer. It's not gonna ride anywhere else but on the trailer. So it looks good. So now I need to figure out a spot to drill on the bottom of the pan so I can reach in uh, to the drain plug. So next I'm going to take my hole saw and I'm going to drill over the spot where the drain plug will go so I can reach in and um, loosen the drain plug. So I'm going to take my, take my drill. Make sure nothing is in the way on the, the bottom. I'm gonna drill straight through. water over in the cooler as you can see with the drain plug it's gonna sit over the hole over the drain hole looking underneath you can see where the the drain plug is actually kind of protruding out the bottom of the cooler rack and when I put the cover around it you're not gonna be able to see it now when I'm ready to drain the water from the cooler all I have to do is reach underneath unscrew the the drain cap and I can just let water out from the bottom of the cooler here are some drain plugs now this drain plug I actually purchased off of Amazon I will include a link in the description. It has a one 
and a half inch shaft length. But there are different drain plugs that you can purchase for your drink cooler. Um, you can pick up drain plugs also at Target. You can get them at Sports Authority or even Lowe's. So the key to the drain plug is knowing exactly um, the thickness of your drink cooler. Now the simple. So in my application, I'm going to mount it to the bottom of the floor just like this. So I can reach up under the cooler, pop out the drain plug, and let the water drain out. Like so. And the, and the reason, one of the reasons why I went with this particular drain plug is that um, once it's mounted on the floor, uh, I'll be able to pretty much get out all of the water inside of the cooler. Now there are different um, drain spouts. Some, some of them are bigger than others. Uh, one of the disadvantages to this drain spout is that when it's sitting on the floor, you're still gonna have maybe a quarter inch of water above the drain line. So when you, so when it's sitting in the cooler like this, the floor is going to be at that lip. So you're going to have that much space for water to sit. It's not going to be able to go over into that drain plug. With this particular drain plug, it's going to sit lower to the floor. So I'll be able to get more water out with this particular drain plug. I actually picked this one up at Sports Authority. And I'm going to show you the difference in the, the links. So, if you're looking at the different sizes, as you can see, the drain spout on the right is shorter than the drain spout on the left. So, you have to figure out which size drain plug you need. You may have a Yeti cooler. You may need a 2-inch drain plug or a 3-inch drain plug, depending on your cooler type so once you look up your cooler then you can figure out uh, what size drain plug you need if you can't find a specific drain plug for your cooler then you're gonna have to guesstimate or drill a hole and then measure the uh, the length of the hole to determine the size of the shaft that you're gonna need for your drink cooler so, so I'm taking my magic marker I'm taking the marker. I want to mark my spot that I want to put the drain plug. Okay. I'm going to drill a hole. And this is going to let me know exactly where my hole saw is going to go. I'm going to drill straight through. Okay, that's the first drill. And this is going to let me know exactly where I want to drill out the hole for the drain plug. the shaft the thickness to see what size drill bit that I will need that's showing 0 0.75 so that's a three quarter inch uh, drill bit so now I can drill my hole So I'm going to try to make this hole just a little bit bigger. So 
just want to make it big enough for the gasket to go through. Voila. You don't want to make the hole too big. But you got to get it through. Okay. So now that I've got the hole through, I got my gasket through. It's going to snap on here like this. So now I can have to make the hole a little bit bigger on the back side as well because that needs to sit flush. So I can make this hole just a little bit bigger. Overdo it. It's best to measure five times and cut once because if you make it too big, it's going to be a problem. So Okay, that's perfect. I just found me a rubber gasket. Um, you can probably just take one from a water hose or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure if it was missing in the kit, but it was not one in the kit. So what I've done, I'm just adding a little bit of extra protection. I'm just adding a gasket to the cap. This gasket didn't come with the kit. Um, I actually took it out of another kit. So if you guys have any leaks, you can... Um, use some rubber silicone or you can uh, maybe add an additional washer to make the shaft tighter so when you tighten it down it actually squeezes together and form a watertight seal so so now i can feed the shaft through i've added an additional gasket and i'm going to just tighten this down and that'll sandwich it together and form a, a tight water, water tight seal. Don't want to overstrip it. I just want to make sure my cap is to the outside. Okay, now I have the drain plug installed inside of my, my trailer cooler. Just to give you guys a look, as you can see, water is uh, inside of the cooler. I've let it sat, sit for a while to uh, verify that I don't have any leaks. Actually with this cooler I have two drain plugs. The drain plug on the right will just let a lot of the water out. The drain plug on the left would get the remaining water out. So if I want to leave a little bit of water in the cooler I can just pull the drain plug on the right. If I want to take it all out I can pull the drain plug on the left. That's going to let out about 75% of that water. So I didn't have to drill through my vinyl cover. I'm going to go on the other side and we're going to let out the remaining 25% water. As you guys can see, I still have a good amount of water left because how tall the drain plug is, but I installed the second drain plug on the right that's a lot shorter and it's gonna let out the remaining water. I'm gonna pull the drain cap. And it's gonna let a lot of the water out on the other side. 
So I really like this setup. I didn't have to drill through my vinyl cover. That's why I put it on the bottom, but you guys can put your drain plug on the front. You can put it on the side. You can put it in the middle, wherever you uh, want to put it. I put mine on the bottom. That way I don't have to take off the vinyl cover or I don't have to take out the cooler. And this will conclude the video of me installing dual drain plugs on my motorcycle trailer drink cooler. If you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to put it down in the comment section below. Your comments just may help someone. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This video is not sponsored. If you would like to make a donation to the YouTube channel, be sure to click that thanks icon located next to the share button. This is your boy Chris out in the Caliente garage just showing you how to install drain plugs on your drink cooler and I will talk to you guys later. See you.